I am Rami Salam El, and I thank you for joining us. Before we get to the reading of What is Islam by Prophet Nubu Jali, I wanted to read a line uh, from the Holy Quran of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, also divinely prepared by Jali. I'm going to be reading from Chapter 4, Death and Burial of Elizabeth, with Thanos' Lessons, the Ministry of Death, I'm going to read lines 15 and 16. The man who stands upon the corners of the paths and points the way, but does not go, is just a pointer, and a block of wood can do the same. The teacher treads the way. On every span of ground he leaves his footprints, clearly cut, which all can see and be assured that he, their master, went that way. It's a very important uh, lesson in that can't just speak about it. Can't just talk the talk. You got to walk it. Islam. <laughs> and now let's get to uh, the text. What is Islam? And that's coming from the Morris literature, from the Morris Science Temple of America, founded by Prophet Noble Jali. Uh, and this text I actually picked up from RV Bay Publications. The link is in the description below. It's only like three or five U.S. notes. Uh, Federal Reserve uh, notes. Uh, but let's read what is Islam. <clears throat> uh, first and foremost, you can also do the etymology on Islam and find out that it means peace. Okay? So, any uh, misconception about what Islam is, know that if it's not about peace, it's not Islam. Let's get into a little more detailed description of Islam. Islam is a very simple faith. It requires man to recognize his duty towards God Allah, his creator and his fellow creatures. It teaches the supreme duty of living at peace with one's surrounding. It is preeminently the religion of peace. The very name Islam means peace. The goal of a man's life, according to Islam, is peace with everything. Peace with Allah and peace with man. The Quran, the holy book of Islam, tells us that the final abode of man is the house of peace, where no vain word or sinful discourse will be heard. The holy divine prophet Noble Jo Ali says that a follower of Islam in the true sense of the word is one, is one whose hands, tongue, and thoughts do not hurt others. Object of a man's life, according to Islam, is its complete unfoldment. Islam teaches that man is born with unlimited capacities for progress. Islam does not support the idea that man was born in sin. It teaches that everyone has within him the seed or with her, the seed of perfect development, and it rests solely with himself to make or mar his fortune. The cardinal doctrine of Islam is the unity of the Father, Allah. We believe in one God, Allah who is all God, all mercy, and all power. He is perfect and holy, all wisdom, all knowledge, and all truth. These are some of his greatest attributes so far as we can understand. He is free from all defect, holy and transcendent. He is personal to us in so far as we see his attributes working for us and in us, but he is nevertheless impersonal. Because he is infinite, perfect, and holy, we do not believe that death, decay, or sleep overtake him. Neither do we believe that he is helplessly inactive and inert force. Nothing happens without his knowledge and will. He neither begets or is begotten because these are traits of the frail and weak humanity. This unity of Allah is the first and foremost pillar of Islam and every other belief hangs upon it. Islam. 